and welcome to Create Crochet with me Rebecca. In today's video we're going to be messing around with these pom-pom makers because at the moment pom-poms and adding them to crochet or knitting or whatever you are on your work you're working on seems to be all the rage. So this is one that I made and this is what it looks like once it's made. Um, as I go through the video you'll see that I've never used one of these before. I even opened the pack in the video. So let's get on and we'll go through it. So to make my pom-poms I'm going to be making uh, using a clover pom-pom maker and this makes in millimetres 65 millimetres and also an 85 millimetre one because I bought the jewel pack and I bought this in Canadian dollars 12.99 from my local craft store now I don't know what I'm doing I haven't got a clue I've never used one of these before so I'm just going to get into it There. Now it does have some instructions on the back, so wind the yarn, cut the yarn, tie a thread or a yarn and remove a pom-pom to finish. Okay. Oh, hang on. Oh, it's got more instructions inside. So if I open it out, A insert pin okay so let me get the smaller one which I think will be easier so it kind of let's explore it oh it twists okay so um, it twists and I've got these arms here and those arms there which looks a little bit confusing to me but okay let's let's read the instructions so a so the pin is already in place. It looks like that's supposed to come apart when you finish up your pom-pom. So this is A and this is B. And you put your pom-pom maker back together like so. I've got to say that's quite, that's quite tight. I'm a little bit worried later on in case all my strands of yarn go flying. Okay, so I've done that. A line arches A and B, so they're holding the picture like this, holding it like that, so I'm going to do the same, like that. Number three, <clears throat> firmly wind yarn or finely shredded wool from one end to the other, and they've changed how they're holding it, because she's or he has got it in her hand here. So, I've got, got this blue yarn here, which is just scrap yarn, it's not a complete ball of yarn. So it'll be interesting to see how much of this I'm actually going to need to make my pom-pom. So, starting at this end, I'm going to work my way around until I've pretty much filled this arch. Can you see? So there, so uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna put my yarn. Uh, I'm gonna put my yarn down here, and I'm gonna wrap it round. Okay, so this is gonna take a minute. Talk amongst yourselves. It's not at all fiddly, actually. I'm just gonna try and go over that little strand there to hold it in place. Okay, so. Wrapping it all the way around. I'm going back over what I've already done just to make sort of sure that I get a really good thick sized pom pom. I'm sure there are other makes of pom pom makers out there. But this is just the one that my local yarn store had and I thought, oh, I don't have one of those. Well, already I need to take out some more yarn. So I'm going to take out quite a heap and see how I get on. I'd say at the moment I've already used at least, I don't know, a metre of yarn. I don't know how thick to make this you know when you wrap <coughs> you know when you wrap your yarn over 
I'm not entirely sure how thick or how tight to wrap it. I suppose I should have read on in my instructions a little bit. Right. That looks about even, doesn't it? Does it look like what the picture's got? Okay. So, next one, next point is, struggling to pick that up. So, I've done that one. Number four says, wind yarn around, wind yarn or wool evenly so that the shape will conform to the arch. Then, close the arch. Well, it's not telling me to cut off this yarn, but the next step is to open this up and then do around here. I'm going to cut the yarn. I'm going to make an executive decision and I'm going to cut the yarn on the underside so that when I close that up, it should catch it all in place and not unravel. So now I need to do the same for this side. Let me try and do it this way this time just to see if it makes a difference so holding that piece there I'm just going to go ahead and wrap 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 so this one is the smaller of the two and uh, I, I wonder if it makes a difference as well, um, the thickness of your yarn. So if I was going to crochet with this, I would use a 5mm hook. So um, I'm wondering if it would make a difference if you had like a much thicker yarn. I probably wouldn't go any thinner because you'd get a lot of strands and you'd be there forever wrapping it round. And I know there are, I did actually buy... Um, two packs so I've got this size and then a much 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 smaller size so here I am taking out more yarn again just wrapping that all the way around lots and lots and lots of times I, I don't know if I am pulling it or not I'm not entirely sure So making sure that I go all the way to this edge here, like um, they have in the picture. Pictorial, is that what you call them? When you have pictures to show you what to do? And then I'm just going to go back. And I'm going to risk it for a biscuit. And I'm going to cut the yarn down here as well. Right, so then I close both of those up. It's not looking too thick, is it? Okay. So next, wind yarn, yep. cut the yarn, so this is step number five, and this is what step number five looks like, and they are, cut the yarn beginning at the gap between arches A and B with a sharp pair of scissors, and it says take care not to open the arches, okay. It says the next step is place a sewing thread or yarn. I'm just going to go and grab another piece of yarn. Bear with me one second. Just for um, video purposes, I just thought I'd grab that because I'm then going to have to put the yarn, do something with that. Right, so number five. Cut the yarn in, um, at the beginning of the arch. Do you know what? If that's going to open, I'm took that back in. I'm going to start cutting this end. So this end opens the arch. So if I start cutting there, that's going to push the, the arch open. So I'm going to cut from the other end just to make sure it doesn't open. Oh, my scissors are fitting down there quite good. These are just dollar store scissors. So they're fitting into that gap quite nicely, which again gets me a little bit worried as to how thick this pom-pom is going to be. That's holding that quite firm actually. So I'm going to do the same this end. And just cut all those strands. Yeah, I think this is going to need a little bit of tidying up at the end of it. So, I've done that. So, point number six is I have to, it says, 
let me show you here. Place the sewing thread or yarn to tie this pom-pom in place. See illustration. Tie firmly and make a double knot. And then it's got this note here, if that's what you should do. Loop through twice, tighten firmly, and then make another loop to tighten and secure. So I've got this orange, which is obviously a complete contrast to the blue. So it says... So what I'm doing there is putting the yarn in between A and B. And then it says wrapping the yarn round once and then twice. Tie firmly. Oh, everything's just shrunk in, so hopefully that's a good thing. And then tie another knot in exactly the same way. So wrapping once and twice. Now that I'm pulling on that really quite tight. So I've done that. Right, number seven. It looks like we're getting to the end of this. Number seven, gently open one arch at a time and then I have to separate A and B. So, and then separate A and B. Oh, hmm. I haven't caught every single strand. Oh, I'm quite happy with that. It's going to need some tightening up and a bit of a haircut, but uh, I feel like those strands are in there nice and tight. So now, if I was making a pom-pom in the normal way, I'd give it a bit of zhuzhing, making sure that it's all pulled out and nice, and then I'd just come along with a sharp pair of scissors and just give it a bit of a haircut. And that's it. Yeah, I think it works. I'm, I'm really, really happy with that. And there's the orange, and you can't see the orange unless you go really in there. I'd need to play with it a little bit just to see how firm those strands are actually in there. Um, and how tight you need to do that knot when you come all the way around. So you know when it's all together, like that, and you've got your yarn wrapped around here, and your yarn wrapped around there, and you've just cut down here. And then with the orange I came and did that knot. I would probably try and do that knot a lot, lot tighter and um, I feel like I should measure it, hang on so it reckons that this should measure 85 millimeter which is 8.5 centimeters well I make that a 6 6 centimeters so again, I'm wondering if I wrap a lot more yarn around, it's going to give me more length. Because if you have a look at their pictures there, that's quite tightly packed, isn't it? Right, well that's how to use the Clover pom-pom maker. I've been Rebecca of Create Crochet. Thank you so much for watching and please leave your comments. Bye!